This is question 8 of the derivatives of trig functions assignment. So differentiate with respect to t. So we have cosecant of 10t. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my formula sheet and find cosecant. So the derivative of cosecant u is negative u prime times cosecant of u times cotangent of u. And there's an alternate way to write it, which is negative u prime times cosine of u divided by sine squared u, which is the same thing. So we're going to go back to our work and write that rule out. So if y equals cosecant of u, then y prime is negative u prime times cosecant of u times cotangent of u. We'll check that. Cosecant of u, cotangent of u. Okay, then u is 10t, so u prime is 10. So dy over dx is negative u prime, so that's 10 times cosecant of u, which is 10t, times cotangent of 10t. Okay, uh, I would rather just put my answer in than try to match the uh, multiple choice. So this has got the negative 10, so that checks. Then it's got cotangent, which is here, and then it, so it reverses the order. So that looks like the best choice. That's out of here. That's out of here. Okay, the problem with this, uh, yeah, it's just not right. So the correct choice is A. So we'll check that. Nice work. And then could we do this in the calculator? Absolutely. Shift minus our variable is T tab trig function cosecant 10 t and that does look a little bit different so this is the alternate way of saying this so if we write this down negative 10 and i'm going to uh, write this as times 1 over sine 10t times cosine of 10t divided by sine of 10t. So this is cotangent 10t, so we get negative 10, and 1 over sine is cosecant, so it's negative 10 cosecant 10t times cotangent 10t. So these things are the same. Could you go back and check in the calculator? Sure. You can go grab this and go put in your answer, negative 10 uh, cosecant 10t. Get out of that. And then cotangent 10t. Are they equal? The calculator says true. Now, you can skip out after here. I'm going to show you why cosecant 10t or cosecant of t is cotan or cosecant t tangent t. So two different ways we could write this. We could say cosecant of x equals 1 over sine of x which also equals sine of x to the negative 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the derivative using the chain rule. So sine of x is the u in the middle. So u equals sine of x, u prime equals positive cosine of x. So dy over dx is we're going to use the power rule on this, so we're going to put the negative 1 in front times u prime, which is cosine x, and then we're going to uh, subtract 1 from this, so this becomes 
sine of x to the negative 2. So if we distribute that out, we got a negative 1 over sine or sine to the negative 1 of x times cosine of x over sine of x, which is the same thing as negative cosecant x times cotangent x. Is there another way to do this? We could use the quotient rule u over v prime equals v minus u over v squared. u is the numerator 1, so u prime is 0. v is sine of x, so v prime is cosine of x. So dy over dx is, we multiply this way, so that's 0 minus, multiply that way, cosine of x, and then divided by v squared, which is sine squared x. And you can see we get to the same place. So we've got negative 1 over sine of x times cosine x over sine of x, which is negative cosecant of x times cotangent of x. And congratulations if you stuck around this long. That concludes this video.